What I remember as in my childhood was here. I don't remember anything before because I came here, as I said, I was, I was 12 years old. And I went to the school in Sharjah, and then I moved to a school called Sharjah American International School in Dubai. And then I did my, my bachelor's in AUD. So I, as I said, I have, I have a very good, had a very good childhood. I could never complain. Everything was happening, you know, and as I was average. I wasn't so special, but I was, my grades were well. My, I was a very common kid. Uh, my father was into oil, uh, oil supply and construction development in Afghanistan. We were, we were doing pretty well. Uh, in a sense that in the, if I tell you how well that my first car was in grade 12 of school and I was driving an R8 at that time. And uh, I, was, I was doing, I was doing, I was doing, I was happy with the life at that time. It all went well until the third year of university when uh, my father was hit financially big time with his business partners. And uh, we had to leave the country for one year. So uh, we came back and uh, uh, today it's a different story. I knew that I want my old life back. I want those sports cars back. I want that life back. And that was the motivation I had. So I, with education I had based in Dubai, I was very, uh, very confident on myself. And I looked at the niche, at, at the sector that is not touched, uh, that's still immature in technology segment. And when I was doing my research, I found out the luxury car rental section in Dubai. It's a huge market. You know, in a sense, if I tell you that in Europe, if you want to rent any luxury car, as in the Lamborghini or a Ferrari, you would be paying up to 50 to 70,000 dirham only security deposit just to rent the car. But while in Dubai, you can do it with only 3,000 dirham. So it's that accessible. All I had to do is that the, the people that were in that industry were very traditional. They would do the traditional business, open a shop, buy cars, put it in front. Because everyone has money in Dubai, everyone knows that. So or they have, know someone who has money and they can just tell them. So, I, I took advantage of this and I built up an online platform for car rentals, specifically premium and car, uh, luxury car rentals, working on transaction based. The company did very good. Uh, in a sense that I picked up the investment that we had invested in the, in the first three to four months of the company. And then we decided, okay, what to do, where to go from here. That uh, At that time, there were four online portals that we were competing in and today, I can confidently say that I am the, uh, one of the biggest ones. I wouldn't say the biggest. So uh, that's my ride.ae I'm talking about. And then the, we, we decided, we, uh, co the company is built by me and my friends, a couple of university friends that I said. So we decided, okay, what to do? We either want to expand our product line or we expand our market. So we did a calculated, calculated decision of uh, building the getting into other segments. So we built up another platform which is called tripz.ae. So tripz.ae handles holiday homes, yacht charters, it does helicopter tours, private jet bookings, la limousine chauffeur services. So I took it more of a, I built it up in a sense that I wanted to be the e, the online concierge company that a person can do not have to do anything. They, everything is online for them. They can book a house, they can book a car, they can book, so all holiday needs, luxury and premium segment is in one platform. Now, uh, tripz.ae right now it's at the second stage of its, uh, of its lifetime where we are developing the packaging system. So hopefully by in September 1st we're going live uh, with that, that if, for example, we are mixing up everything, all the products that we have. So if you go for a house, if you are coming to Dubai and you want to get a holiday home for one week, uh, I don't, you know, I want to give you something in return, so I'm going to give you a balloon ticket for free, or you can get uh, an Audi A3 for free, so uh, for a weekend, you know, just just to appreciate you doing business with us. Because I have so many segments of uh, categories that I, that I that I'm working on, and I can do it. So uh, the Tripsy is going to be in that sector. And uh, today, just last week, we we acquired a company called Techmont. Ditchmont Technologies. So what that, that's company, that company does is that uh, we, they build platforms, technologies, apps, 
uh, digital marketing for other companies. I, 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 I like this industry. I'm telling you, two, two years ago, I didn't know what Google AdWords mean. I didn't know what SEO mean. And today, I own a uh, technology company. Uh, but that's because, uh, uh, that's because of this certain uh, interest that I have for this uh, technology industry. Today, we have a team of 16 people. And they, I never say they work for me because that's not the status that I have achieved and I don't think I will ever achieve. Everyone, we all work together. So the team that I work with, I always have this for them that to build, there are three stuff that you need that made me today who I am and is gonna make you who you are. And money is not important. Money is always there and the next is not there. It's networking, knowledge, and experience. These are the three things that you need to be working on to become a talent in any segment that you're working with. Doesn't matter you're working in real estate, doesn't matter you're working in technology. If you have these three, you can be confident enough that you don't need any investment to do whatever you want. You have networking, you, have, you know the people. The person who has the money needs you. You, know? you have the knowledge, the person who has the money needs you. You have the experience, the person who has the money and he wants to enter a certain, because I have those people. I had to look for the people who have these three, and I call them the talent, you know, the talent in every, every, every sector. So I, 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 I tell them to become a talent in whatever segment that you're working on. For me, if a place is home, is UAE. You know? I grew up in, uh, on the streets. I grew up with uh, one of the reasons why I think, I wouldn't say I have reached a success, success, but whoever I am today is because of the way I was built in Dubai. So if I see an Indian guy, because that's, we are so multicultural, you know, if I see an Indian guy, I speak Hindi with him. I know Hindi so well, you cannot imagine that. You know, you will not know that if I'm from somewhere else. If I see an Egyptian guy, I'll speak to him in his own tongue of Arabic. If I see a local guy, I speak in their dialect of uh, Arabic. If I see someone from, you know, from Europe, I know their culture because I grew up with these people. Uh, let me give you an example. I went, to, I went to Europe that time and I did my master's during that time. And in that is, we, had, we were 250 people in that class, in that master's class. And for more than, I think, 18 or 19 nationalities. And everyone was segmented. So people from Italy would hang out with people from Italy. People from France would hang out from people in France. People from India would hang out. And with me, it was different. Because I grew up here, I noticed it there. I knew almost every single 250 people, I knew them. Because I could, I could mingle with them. I could go to the French guy and I would oh, talk, talk about them. Because I wasn't scared to go and enter that, you know, that area of comfort area. That's comfort for me. So that's Dubai. You know, I can deal with anyone. That's what it taught me. And I had to be here. I had to make the first step of my life in the place that made me who I am and the place that's going to make me who, who I will be in the future. And I think you hear this a lot, and in Dubai everyone says that one of the people that has a big influence in my life on is His Highness Sheikh Mohammed. You know, I, I grew up with his vision. So let me give you an example. With MyRight.e, when I started the company, there were online portals, and they were telling people to book cars two days per hour. So if you want to make a booking, tell me two days before, and then we'll do it for you. I came in, and I said, 90 minutes, and then later on, we, now we do it in a record time of 60 minutes. 60 minutes, you book a Ferrari, and you book a pizza, and I can guarantee you that the Ferrari will reach faster than the pizza to you. So this is the type of person that the inspiration I receive from that person, you know, because see what he has made today. So that's how, that's, that's a Dubai child inside me that's talking, you know. So these are things that speed, uh, what do you call it? Things need to be number one, the best. That, that all comes from him, and that shows to me and to the city. So that's, 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 how, that's how I see it.